Eden Confidential, the Queen is forced to delay her annual getaway to Balmoral so she can greet whoever becomes the next Prime Minister. The Queen could be forgiven for being fed up with the seemingly interminable Tory leadership election. For I hear she has been forced to delay her cherished summer holidays just so she can greet the new Prime Minister. She usually leaves London for her Scottish retreat before tourists arrive at Buckingham Palace for its summer opening. This year, they arrive on Saturday, July 20, but the new PM won't be announced until the following Tuesday. The Queen will not go to Balmoral before meeting her 14th Prime Minister, a royal source tells me. She does not want to travel 500 miles to the Highlands and back just for the meeting. She will stay at Windsor, so as not to bump into any visitors at the palace, and the new PM will be driven there. Super rich hedge fund boss Pierre Lagrange has joined the exclusive, and bohemian, club of those who have been married to both women and men. The tycoon, who owns celebrated Seville Row Taylor Huntsman, tied the knot with former White House official Ibs Bernoff during what was described as a wild weekend on the Spanish party island of Ibiza. Love wins, declared one guest after the open air ceremony. It's an extraordinary love story, complete with a fairy tale ending. Lagrange, who paid his wife of 20 years, Catherine Anspach, inset. A record-breaking £160 million divorce settlement in 2010, wore a huntsman blazer as he walked down the aisle arm in arm with his brother, Bernard. Strictly Come Dancing was accused of turning seedy last year after one of the professionals, Katya Jones, was pictured kissing her celebrity dance partner, the comedian Sean Walsh. However, Bruno Tony Oli declares there should be even more naughtiness. Why is it such a controversy? The Italian choreographer demands at the first night of West End play Captain Corelli's mandolin. Everyone is all so puritanical these days, there should be more kissing. Bruno, who has been a judge since the show began in 2004, adds, You are young, you're beautiful, just do it and get on with it. I don't care as long as you're good on the dance floor. You can do whatever you want. Very, modern manners. Like most actors, Sherlock star Amanda Abington works hard to keep in shape, so she's bemused by the new trend for gym goers to record themselves for a few minutes before scarpering. This happens so much at my gym, reveals Amanda, 45, who has two children with her ex-boyfriend, The Office star Martin Freeman.